So as we continue looking at Prima Secundae 49 to 54, we need to ask what things in us are subject to being habituated. What components, so to speak, of the human being are subject to habitus? St Thomas wants us to see a habitus as a quality, a moulding of something in us, so that something can be well or ill-disposed regarding how it fits our nature, how it unfolds in activity, how it fits its goal. In one sense, the body can be habituated. The body can fit the soul, well or not so well. Maybe this could prompt us to reflect on things like muscle memory, which we understand a little bit about nowadays. St Thomas doesn't think that the essence of the soul, the basic way of being, of living, that the human soul is, he doesn't think that can be habituated because it gives us our human nature. Except that the human soul, in its essence, in its depth, can be given the quality of sanctifying grace, gratia gratum faciens, that gift of God that lifts us up to sharing the divine nature. But most importantly, habituation happens in the faculties of the soul. If the soul is our form of life, then it, so to speak, unfolds or deploys itself in various faculties, potentiae animu, anime, anime, potentialities of the soul, powers of the soul, abilities of the soul. And the human being is uniquely complex, the most complex thing in the whole cosmos. We have one single life, but it is extremely complex. If you want to read a little bit about that, I would recommend the November 2019 issue of New Blackfriars, in which some Aquinas papers got edited. We have many faculties. We have, like the other animals, interior senses the ability to coordinate the data from the exterior senses, to retain our memory of sense experiences, to play with those memories, to discern what modern psychologists call the affordances in our environment, to interpret the world around us with senses of safety and danger and things like that. We and we alone in the animal world have intellect, the ability to know. We have the will, the ability to be attracted by the good. And we have what might be roughly translated as emotions. All of these are potentiae, ways in which we can be actualized. Given that we are human, we can, so to speak, express our being human in feeling emotions, in making deliberate choices, in understanding things. And a habitus mediates between these potentialities and the actualization of these powers. So at one stage I was able to learn how to make pastry, or how to do organic chemistry. And then I learnt those, and those have habituated me. I have become habituated to chemistry and cookery. I'm not doing chemistry at the moment, or cooking, 
but I can actualize my powers by making steak and kidney pie or by working out how to synthesize some new molecule. So habitus, these dispositions, these qualities of our faculties, channel and direct these faculties to work in this way or that way. And without that kind of habituation, we wouldn't be able to function. That's how important habitus dispositions are, even for basic human life. We need this habituation because many human faculties are open-ended. We can live, we can act in all sorts of complex ways, and we aren't on tram lines, we aren't constrained by instincts in the way animals are. St Thomas was aware that you can train certain animals, he wasn't aware of the complex lives of the higher primates, though he was aware of the way in which hunting dogs, for example, can work out kind of instinctively how to follow their prey and so on. Maybe St Thomas wasn't fully aware of the instinctive aspects of human life, but he discerned, and it is quite true, that our animal side is in an organic interaction with intellect and will and is transformed in the process. There's an organic interaction among our faculties so that the open-endedness of knowing and loving reflects onto an open-endedness of the whole psyche. We have a unique flexibility and that is not disproved by modern science. Our unique flexibility implies unique possibilities but also unique needs and it's into that kind of psyche that habitus, habituation, dispositions is needed.